Welcome back. You're now tuned into the other side, the other side of sports. I'm your host, Laws, in the building. Of course, it's me. Of course, Aaron is in the building, and we rocking out. Today, we got to talk about Sandra Douglas Morgan, the first black female NFL president of any team. Now, whenever stuff happens, right, <clears throat> I go online, Aaron, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I, I just want to kind of read and digest the information before I actually make statements about things and stuff like that. And I happen to be on Yahoo, which is a very notable, you know, news publication. And I saw a story on Sandra, you know, Sandra Douglas Morgan, you know, of course, talking about her accolades and where she's come from and just basically heroing the fact that she's the first African-American woman to be an NFL president of an NFL team, which is big, right? Because we talk about just the disparities in equity um, to minorities within the the uh, NFL as a whole, but especially in positions of authority and power within organizations and stuff like that. And so here she is, um, Sandra Douglas Morgan, first black female NFL president to come, come on the scene, a lawyer, you know what I'm saying, has credentials. I don't know necessarily that she has a background in football, but she has a background, um, you know, handling operations for uh, big, big institutions. Uh, one notable, she was the uh, in charge of the the gaming control board in Las Vegas. I mean, that's probably one of the bigger, the biggest gaming control boards you could possibly be in charge of. Um, and you know, she she was a, a city attorney. Um, you know, and and definitely a leader in her space, right? And so when I went online, I started looking at some of the stuff, the comments. <laughs> No! 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 In response to her taking on this role, it kind of it kind of got under my skin. I'm gonna read some of these comments. Wow, can you believe it? A black woman was hired to be a part of the NFL. What in the world? What is the world coming to? Would have never thought that a black woman would be hired for a job in a million years laughing my butt off, sarcasm. They act like this is something new. If she is qualified to do the job, then why does it matter if she is black, white, Latino? They have to make everything about race. Mm. Who is that? Continuing to emphasize race, you reinforce the idea that we are different. It's counterproductive. This is exactly what Morgan Freeman meant when he said, not talking about racism is the best way to eliminate it. If we all treat each other as equals, we will be equals. Boy, ain't no way, boy. 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 I told you all the dumbasses live in the comment section, dog. I don't even know why. <laughs> <laughs> you wasted your time. We don't this. have to ha have a notification article for every minority that does something. She's extremely qualified in the story. I'm all for qualified people getting jobs. I'm so tired of hearing the first this, the first that. What next when you can't use that anymore? The second this, the second that. As usual, Yahoo focuses on her race and gender and not her qualifications. Yahoo, is that how you provide her with equity? <sighs> it's Joe Biden. It, it, it like bubbles my blood because clearly these people are ignorant. They have no clue. We wouldn't be talking about a first anything if it wasn't 2022. And it's the first time an African-American woman was sitting in the seat of authority for the NFL. What are you talking about? They're still first happening in our society as a whole in different places and different professions, different business places where it's notable because 
We've never been allowed to be there. I don't get what like this junk, this 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 logic that that these people are saying like why do you have to keep bringing up race and stuff like that because it's still a relevant thing that's happening in our society. We wouldn't bring it up if we were if we were given the same equitable uh situations as everybody else. What do you what do you mean? What are we talking about? That's why there's a Rooney rule. That, that that's why there's HBCUs. Dog. It, it's just so much that I, be, I believe that the reason it bothers you so much because you still in deep in your heart want to believe these people aren't who they are. You want to believe that we live in a different space where people aren't who these people are. Like you deep in your heart, you want to believe the American dream that you know everybody has good intentions and wants the best for everybody. You really believe that somewhere deep, deep down, you believe that. And that's why, one, you went to the comment section, <laughs> and two, when you saw what you knew you were going to see, bothered you. <laughs> uh, we do questions of the day every the, week how do when I we get tell out the black, Bama, you, the black huh? hole, dog. How do I get out the vortex of this, dog? Believe your eyes, your lying eyes. <laughs> they are who we thought they were. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Dog. Is twenty earned? Is twenty twenty two, and there are still first happening. What did these people not understand? No, it would it would be different if there was like the fourth or fifth black female NFL president, uh, like the NFL. Like, dog, how many black presidents are there in the NFL? Just the only one I know of is the one that Washington has. Washington, Washington Raiders look like. Ra is the Ravens is the Ravens uh president is he black? I don't Wasn't it so. uh You talking about their general manager? That's different oh, than general, team president. Yeah, team president. Yeah. Team so president is supposed to be like in charge of every like kind of like the CEO of the all operations, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, now some will say that this is a move on uh a PR move from the the Raiders, the Oakland Raiders to try to clean up their whole situations with all the funny business that they had going on. And it could be, but we're not going to just, just minimize the fact that it's her first and the fact that she's African-American. And yes, race matters. It does. It hurt your little heart to have to see this kind of fool. It did hurt my heart, Aaron, because, because no. I want to believe that that deep down inside, like that these people- They're bad people. Ha it's dog, they they have to be, dog, because there's no, it's like- the thing is, they wouldn't even do this to their own their own children, dog. If your children's the first to do something, you'll be like, "Oh, you you want to have a party? You want to?" They put take it on pictures. Fresh. They put it on social media. They That's understand. What I'm they like, understand all of this. Like I, I just, it's disingenuous. And one of the comments even says something like, "Oh, y'all are create like we are creating the racism by having the conversations about this stuff that existed." So it's. Like to try to even engage these people or have a logical discussion is a complete waste of time, though. Completely, complete. <laughs> oh, why y'all gotta hate on this young lady, dog? She ain't done nothing to nobody. I, yeah, I, I mean, I there was some comments. People was like, "Hold on, it, it's some more." Uh, and for those of you who point to the success of the bills and the and the uh because of course the bills they have a, a a woman president that's running their their organization uh she had no impact on their success brandon bean and sean mcdermott turned that team around marrying money and giving a scenario post was is window dressing nothing more so basically calling this just window dressing already putting her in the in in the losing column and basically Anytime saying that credit has to go to somewhere other than to a white man, whether that be a black person or a woman, they're going to find caveats for why it really, really should have gone to somebody else. So, like, we discussed the kind of people that live in the comments of these kind of videos. Like, it's the percentage of Bamas that's just there to give like positivity or just a, a, oh, but this, a this standard observation is minimal compared to the Bamas that just want to either troll. Every single post, don't it's, it's so. Why does every story start with identifying the race where it should be the qualifications and not the skin? Because the qualifications don't matter when you're black. No, we've had people with all the qualifications get looked over. 
the what is is Brian Flores not suing the NFL for them doing that exact thing? Him having all the qualifications and then bypassing the qualifications to look for someone else to bring in that is of a of a of of the similar color hue. Like, come on, people. <laughs> come on. Every jump. Oh, quit making such a big deal about somebody's you cheap in there, cheap. Come on, bro. Come on. Ain't no che- it's not cheapening an achievement if she's black. Matter of fact, it's it's elevating it because we good at everything. It's a fact. So I I, I just dog the level of ignorance that I see in the comments, and you right, dog. I I it's like it's like my kryptonite, dog. I go to the, the comment session, I look and see, and I'm just it just it bothers me, dog, because I just don't know people like this. Think about what you think about where your life would have to be for you to be just on the internet, right? You get on the internet 11 a.m. You know, you just scrolling on the weekend and you see a story that says first black such a for you to go write a paragraph under that story in the middle of your day because you just saw a story pop up on Yahoo. Imagine where you have to be in life. Imagine what has to be going on around you. Don't like stop wasting your time. We got to have an intervention with you, dog. You want everybody to be benevolent. <laughs> <laughs> and you want everybody to be the best and have a chance oh. at, at uh, redemption, dog. These people are who they are, <laughs> and it's why they are where they are. So you just got to let it be, though. That's why they in the comment sections writing paragraphs. They ain't got nothing else going on. They should have to put their W-2s in a picture of their wife before they comment. Because <laughs> it's generally <laughs> anonymous. It's generally anonymous, dog. So you got these low-life losers in here dog. giving dissertations and trying to tell people... <laughs> How to Yo, fix, first of all, how trying, to to talk, trying, trying to talk down about this black beautiful queen, though. She she beautiful. She married. She she got a nice, lovely family. She, she she's intelligent. Top of her game. Of se- yeah, chairwoman of several organizations, lawyer. Like, and then you go look at their life, and they want to tell you why she's not going to be successful, or why she was chosen for a reason other than what her qualifications are. So just though. No. As, before the season is over, we're gonna get to a point where you stop trying to uh, <laughs> believe these are good people that you're talking about. No, I just I hope like I, one of my hopes, though, one of my hopes is that you know I just hope that some of the people who feel this way, right? And I, I don't know what has to happen, though. I mean, maybe there's nothing that's, that's, that's Dr. Uma. What do you say? I can't psychologize all the people that's out there on the corner. But I'm telling you as a psychologist, I'm not going to be able to psychologize all them on the corner. Some of them going to sleep for good. Some of them going to have to go to sleep <laughs> for good. For good. <laughs> for good. That's what you can do. Just wait Yo. for these people to go to sleep for good. Because their heart is not going to change. It's not. Duh. It's so much information out there that if people wanted to do right or wanted the right information, they have access to it. They choose to be on the side that they're on. Yeah, you're right, dog. So you just gotta wait for them to take their nap. That's it. <sighs> it'll be better. It'll be better for Harley and then her kids. It'll be a little better, a little better. But you just gotta wait for these babies. Dog, she, the thing is, I like. I mean, I I'm rooting for. Her. I I think she'll she'll. I I'm mean, about to be a Raiders fan. I'm about. I'm looking for a new wish, team. If they would have signed Cap. And, <laughs> dog, it would have been a done deal. Hey, look, they just need, I'm telling you, they got a lot of big, she she came in and already addressed that, you know, there's some stuff that needs to happen. There's some changes, culture change that needs to occur and clean up and, and the responsibility starts with her. She already taking accountability. Like, I mean, dog, she's done nothing but the right things coming into this situation that's horrible. Nobody's talking about all, all the mess that preceded her being into this role, dog. It's only one worst job in the NFL, and that's over here. It's ours, dog. <laughs> over here, dog. Washingtonian, and the, and the fact that she's there, like willing to take on that, she's dog. She's held down Vegas. If you talking about a cesspool of funny business, and you defending Vegas, oh my goodness, dog. What a job you got. NFL is a sneeze in the dark compared to that. Um, cause you know, all the type of wild, funny business happen around that, that Bama's with big, big money and gambling dog. That's the worst of the worst. What you mean? So, I mean, 
I, I think she's going to do a good job, dog. I really do. And I'm not just saying that just because she's black. I'm saying that because of her credentials. You know, the fact that she's black is just the cherry on top to me. Um, anybody who has something negative to say, like, oh, I'm praying for you, dog, because oh, yeah. your your heart, dog, is is I, it, our country is in disarray right now. It's really bad. It's really bad. Dog, I'm talking about I'm going through, I'm combing through the comments, and I'm seeing, like, it's 10 to 1. That's the ratio. To every one positive comment, there's 10 negative ones. That's the ratio of dumbasses in the comments. It's 10 to 1. Dog, yeah, we say it all the time. Like, if you just do a, if you did like a, uh, what do they call it, like IQ test across the board, dog, you just, numbers is going to be slim. 90% of the country, flaming idiots. It's, it's sad to say, but it's unfortunate, bro. It's unfortunate. Um, Yeah, wishing all the best to Sandra Douglas Morgan, the first black female NFL president. Hopefully this 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 opens the door. Like hopefully. I mean we need to see more diversity in the management ranks in the in the uh the the presidential ranks of of the NFL. Like it just needs to happen. Um especially when you say you look at the makeup of the league. Um so that is power to her, dog. Power to her. Um yeah, follow us at OSS 980 at Other Side of Sports. Share the program, share the show. We out.